I have been planning new headshots or additional headshots to get for a few months. And now that the COVID restrictions are slowly loosening up and the COVID numbers are going down, I decided I would schedule a headshot session. So last time I did a few different shots, but I want to get more specific in the type of headshots. I really like my headshots, but in the face part, I want to be more expressive. And also in the costumes, I want to be more specific of exactly the type of character I want to audition for. I want to play. So my goal is to be able to do a very strong college look, a very specific college look and a very specific mom look. So I've been Googling so many different shows and so many different actors to look at their headshots and looking on IMDb for specific things. And also I contacted my agent and I'm waiting for a call from her then she's going to let me know more specifically what I should wear and such but while I wait for that I thought if I go buy something I can just return it if you know my agent ends up telling me something a little bit different but first I wanted to look in my closet and see what I have. I have a membership with the headshot truck and it's Basically, I can go six times a year, but it's a 15 minute session. So I do have to come into it very prepared, knowing what I want, knowing exactly what I want to wear. And um, I want to layer this look if possible so that I can transition it from mom look to college student look. So for the mom look, I want this essentially a puffer jacket, some kind of long sleeve to look like a soccer mom. Um, you know, the perfect soccer mom that is maybe a stay at home mom or maybe has you know is a teacher or a lawyer or something there during the daytime but essentially this is how she dresses in the weekends or when she's hanging out with her family and then for the college student look this is essentially what i want i want a college student that maybe is an activist in college or has some kind of a presence in college like student union or student what is it called student but I know that might be difficult to achieve if I'm trying to do both of them in within the same session because I want to layer. Um, so I was thinking of maybe adding a, some kind of denim jacket and glasses or something to make it more towards the student. I was also thinking of wearing a crop top under the uh, puffer jacket so then I can take it off and then put a couple of accessories on. So that's what I'm gonna play around with to figure out what to wear for these headshots. I'm thinking I like this. It's a crop top and it is also long sleeve. So I might be able to put a puffer jacket on top of this one that looks good with this color and then take it off for the college look. So that'll be as far as like the top section. Um, these are headshots and I haven't requested to get full body shots for this one because you can also do full body shots um, with the headshot truck. It's not only headshots to do all kinds of things, but um, I think this one will work for both of them, especially if I have the puffer jacket zipped up. If I get a puffer jacket that maybe is, I don't know what color would look good with this, like a nice yellow, like a toned down yellow and have it all be fall colors. And maybe I can wear a scarf. And then for the college student look, I can put on a choker, like a choker necklace and change my hair a little bit and jewelry. Okay, so this is definitely something that I like. So I'm going to go to some stores and look for a puffer jacket. Um yeah while i was inside my agent called me and um i wanted to mostly ask her about the headshots but I also wanted to ask her about what else can I do in order to get more bookings and such, right? And she basically told me that I'm doing everything right and that if I wanted to, I could give, keep giving her um, just variations, different kinds of headshots. And so we talked about it a little bit and we said when a little bit more like sexier look of just a young woman and then the other one, a mom look. I found a white puffer jacket at 
Goodwill, which I think I can make it work for the mom look and the sexier look because um, I can zip up the puffer jacket and just show the sleeves for the green shirt that I just showed you guys. So I think I'm going to use that, but I'm still going to go to Target because I have to go anyways to buy other things. But I'm really happy with the conversation I had. I'm so grateful that my agent took the time to call me and to talk this out and I, I just really appreciate her. She and I both talked about wanting more theatrical work um, in the Bay Area because of course she's my Bay Area agent and then I let her know that I'm looking for LA representation and to send me any audition that you know even if it's somebody that's contacting the agency with a really low budget and they just want actors like just shoot me an email. I really don't mind but um, I just really appreciated talking to her. So I'm gonna continue with uh, figuring out exactly what my outfits are and then I'll see you guys at home so we can try out some of these outfits and make some final decisions. I'm going to try on the outfits right now to decide what I should wear for these headshots. So let me show you what I got. Putting this um, over this, so I can try this on right now. And they're going to be headshots, not full body shots. So the bottom doesn't really matter but i'm still gonna probably make it into an outfit because i'm gonna likely wear this for the rest of that day well that outfit the other one because i think it's cute and i found that at target so this i got at the thrift store for six dollars this shirt yeah i think this works i think this could work as like a mom um maybe that we don't show okay and I can either have my hair in a ponytail or what did it look like down? Oh yeah, maybe down too. I'm all posing like I'm getting my kid in trouble. Okay, maybe a ponytail. This also looks sporty, which is one of the things that my agent also said that more sporty looks are good. Um, to have this one is um, like a bodysuit or is that what it's called where it snaps at the bottom and I got a large just because eh, you know large um, but I don't want to show too much maybe that's not maybe that's not too much okay maybe a little necklace yeah I do really like this light blue color um, and a little bit of print because I don't have any headshots with um, print. You usually try to do solid colors, but because this look, when I saw this, I thought it was cute and you know looked like a young, a young person, like a somebody in college were wear to like I don't know a picnic or something. My alternative option for the young adult was just going to be this, but you know a little down so that it was exposing more. And then the other one has this vest over it, so. I think I can pull this off still. Yeah. Okay, cool. So for the mom look, I'll have this and maybe if I do a ponytail, do something sporty looking. I think I can make this work to look like a mom if I'm looking a certain way. Okay, no more looks because that's enough of that. But um, so this is what I'm going to be wearing to um, my headshot truck headshots and I did want to mention to you guys that this isn't sponsored but I do have a promo code with them and they are gifting me these headshots. Um, I talked about it in the last video that I did. They're not forcing me to say anything in particular but I really enjoyed the headshot truck and the membership that they have. So if you guys want to check it out you can get your first month of the membership and after that it's $50 a month and you can cancel it anytime. Starting to sound like a commercial so I'm going to shut up about that but I'm very excited to be getting more headshots and I'm excited to give my agent more photos even though she basically said that I'm doing everything right which is great but I want to be doing more so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully soon I will start booking a lot more I'm also going to of course be vlogging as I'm getting the headshots done this time which is tomorrow today's Friday and tomorrow Saturday I'm gonna get the headshots done so that will be in a separate video thank you so much for watching this vlog and at the end of every video I feature another channel this is today's feature if you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.